Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel where I talk about all things related to personal finance, investing, and retirement planning. I'm your host Iggy, and today I have a very exciting topic for you, why Singtel and AMP, Comfort Delgro are strong buys now. These are two of the most popular stocks on the Singapore exchange, SGX, and they have been getting a lot of attention from analysts recently. In fact, both of them have received strong buy ratings from multiple sources, which means that they are expected to deliver high returns in the near future. But what makes these stocks so attractive? What are their strengths and opportunities? And how can you invest in them wisely? These are some of the questions that I will answer in this video, so make sure you watch till the end. Before we dive into the details, please take a moment to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. It really helps me out a lot and motivates me to create more content for you. Also, don't forget to turn on the notification bell so that you never miss an update from me. Alright, let's get started. The first stock that we are going to look at is Singapore Telecommunications Limited, or Singtel for short. Singtel is a leading telecommunications service provider in Singapore, offering a wide range of services such as fixed, mobile, internet, TV, and more. Singtel has a market capitalization of about 40 billion Singapore dollars as of September 2023, making it one of the largest companies on SGX. It also has a dividend yield of about 4%, which is quite attractive for income investors. But what makes Singtel a strong buy right now? Well, there are several reasons for that. First of all, Singtel recently conducted its Investor Day on August 23, 2023, where it laid out its vision and strategy for the next three years. The company highlighted some of the key drivers for its revenue growth, such as improved roaming revenues due to the recovery of travel demand post-pandemic, increased adoption of digital services such as e-commerce and cloud computing, and expansion of its 5G network coverage and capabilities. Secondly, Singtel also announced its ambitious goal of improving its return on invested capital, ROIC, from 8% in FY23 to a low double-digit percentage by FY26. To achieve this, Singtel plans to optimize its cost structure by leveraging its scale and synergies across its businesses, reducing its capital expenditure by adopting more efficient technologies, and divesting or monetizing some of its non-core assets such as its stake in Airtel Africa. Thirdly, Singtel has received positive ratings from several analysts who are bullish on its prospects. For example, Kelvin Tan from Maybank confirmed his buy rating on Singtel's stock and predicted a 30% growth in its share price. He cited Singtel's strong cash flow generation, attractive valuation, and potential upside from its regional associates as some of the reasons for his optimism. Other analysts who have rated Singtel as a buy include HSBC, CGSCIMB, JP Morgan, UOBK Hyan, and more. According to TipRank's consensus forecast, Singtel's stock has a strong buy rating based on six buy and one hold recommendations. The average Singtel share price target is two Singapore dollars and 87 cents, which implies a 20.5% upside from its current trading price of two Singapore dollars and 38 cents. So, as you can see, Singtel is a stock that has a lot of potential and momentum right now. It is well positioned to benefit from the recovery of the economy and the demand for digital services. It also has a clear and achievable plan to enhance its profitability and shareholder value. And it has the support of many analysts who believe that it is undervalued and has room to grow. But what about the risks? Well, no stock is without risk, and Singtel is no exception. Some of the challenges that Singtel faces include a. Competition from other telcos in Singapore and abroad, especially in the 5G space. b. Regulatory uncertainties and changes in different markets, such as India and Indonesia. c. Currency fluctuations and exchange rate risks, as Singtel operates in multiple countries. d. Potential disruptions or cyber attacks on its network or systems. These are some of the factors that you need to consider before investing in Singtel. You should also do your own research and due diligence, and not rely solely on the opinions of others. 
The second stock that we are going to look at is Comfort Delgro Corporation Limited. Comfort Delgro is a global transportation company with an extensive fleet that includes buses, taxis, and various rental vehicles. The company operates in seven countries, namely Singapore, Australia, China, Malaysia, the UK, Ireland, and Vietnam. Comfort Delgro has a market capitalization of about 3.5 billion Singapore dollars as of September 2023, making it one of the smaller companies on SGX. It also has a dividend yield of about 3%, which is decent for income investors. But what makes Comfort Delgro a strong buy right now? Well, there are several reasons for that as well. First of all, Comfort Delgro's share price reached a 10-month high of one Singapore dollar and 69 cents on August 30th, 2023, driven by a bullish trend that started in June and its Q2 earnings announcement on August 13th, 2023. The company reported a strong recovery in its revenue and earnings thanks to the improvement in its public transport division and its taxi segment. Specifically, Comfort Delgro's revenue increased by 23% year-on-year to 1.6 billion Singapore dollars in Q2 2023, while its net profit surged by 108% year-on-year to 61 million Singapore dollars. The public transport division contributed 75% of the revenue growth as ridership increased across all markets due to the easing of lockdown measures. The taxi segment also saw a significant improvement in its operating margin from minus 0.4% in Q2 2022 to 14.4% in Q2 2023 as the company reduced its fleet size and increased its rental rates. Secondly, Comfort Delgro also announced some strategic initiatives that could boost its future growth potential. For example, the company launched a new app called Zig, which is a one-stop platform that allows users to book taxis, buses, trains, bikes, e-scooters, car rentals, and more. The app also offers lifestyle features such as dining deals, events, and attractions. The company hopes that Zig will increase its customer loyalty and engagement, as well as generate new revenue streams. Another initiative that Comfort Delgro announced was its partnership with SP Group, which is a leading energy utility company in Singapore. The two companies will collaborate to install more than 600 electric vehicle EV, charging points at Comfort Delgro's premises by 2024. This will support Comfort Delgro's plan to electrify its fleet and reduce its carbon footprint. Thirdly, Comfort Delgro has received positive ratings from several analysts who are optimistic about its prospects. For example, Shekhar Jeswal from RHB confirmed his buy rating on Comfort Delgro's stock and raised his share price target from one Singapore dollar and 80 cents to one Singapore dollar and 90 cents. He cited Comfort Delgro's strong Q2 results, resilient public transport business, and attractive valuation as some of the reasons for his confidence. Other analysts who have rated Comfort Delgro as a buy include DBS, OCBC, CGSCIMB, UOBK Hyan, and more. According to TipRank's consensus forecast, Comfort Delgro's stock has a strong buy rating, based on five buy recommendations. The average Comfort Delgro share price target is one Singapore dollar and 83 cents, which implies a 12% upside from its current trading price of one Singapore dollar and 63 cents. So, as you can see, Comfort Delgro is a stock that has a lot of potential and momentum right now. It is well positioned to benefit from the recovery of the transportation sector and the demand for mobility services. It also has a clear and innovative plan to diversify its revenue sources and enhance its sustainability. And it has the support of many analysts who believe that it is undervalued and has room to grow. But what about the risks? Well, just like Singtel, Comfort Delgro is not without risk, and some of the challenges that it faces include a competition from other transport operators and ride-hailing platforms such as Grab and Gojek. B. Regulatory uncertainties and changes in different markets, such as Australia and China. C. Currency fluctuations and exchange rate risks, as Comfort Delgro operates in multiple countries. D. Potential disruptions or accidents on its network or vehicles. These are some of the factors that you need to consider before investing in Comfort Delgro. 
You should also do your own research and due diligence, and not rely solely on the opinions of others. So, there you have it. These are the two stocks that I wanted to share with you today, Singtel and Comfort Delgro. These are two of the most popular and highly rated stocks on SGX right now, and they have a lot of reasons to be optimistic about their future performance. But remember, investing is not a one-size-fits-all activity. You need to consider your own financial goals, risk appetite, time horizon, and portfolio allocation before making any investment decisions. You should also diversify your investments across different sectors, markets, and asset classes to reduce your overall risk. I hope you found this video helpful and informative. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends and family who might be interested in investing. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. I would love to hear from you. Also, if you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so that you don't miss any of my updates. I post new videos every week on topics related to personal finance, investing, and retirement planning. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.